One more. Okay. Here we go. They're going to make me drunk again. Uh, I'm excited to see what we're going to find here. Let's get right into it and enjoy the video. If you do like it, please subscribe. Become a part of our community. That way we can grow this channel. But until then, let's go and check out this festival. As you can see, this festival pretty much popped up here in this courtyard, this building. It, it only happens once a year. So when it does take place, you want to come and check it out. Um, it happens all over Thailand, so you can really check it out anywhere. Today we're here in Aoluk City, uh, or Aoluk Town, here in Krabi Province. So pretty exciting to, to see how it all came out. You know, we saw it while they were still constructing these um, these food stalls and they pretty much made it all out of wood and uh, bamboo and and leaves really like yeah pretty incredible check it out it's constructed out of bamboo and corn uh, tree leaves and uh, let's explore yeah 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 let's see that so it looks like they've got a little show going on. We're gonna go check that out. You know, most of, uh, most of the, the stuff that they celebrate, I don't quite understand what the hell's going on. So most of the time I'm like thinking, what? What's happening right now? The, the gentleman who's really well dressed is with uh, a lady that looks like she has a wig on, and but it seems like it's clearly a meme. 
but then I don't want to say that, and then it's actually a serious thing. But let me ask Anne, let me ask Anne. And so the lady who's with the guy who's dressed really well, is she a lady? Who's that? The, the lady there, she's got a wig on. Yes? Yeah? No, that's not lady. Okay, so it's a meme. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, I mean, most of the time I'm like, what the hell's happening right now? Uh, but yeah, it seems like it's a, it's like a, some type of a drag makeup type of deal. So, hey, sweet. Um, yeah, let's let's see what happens. Let me go back in there. Check this thing out. This is like a DJ on wheels. so loud that's loud there's our DJ Yeah, so, ah, so apparently that's another thing in Thailand, dude. Be careful, there's always fireworks. So I didn't expect that and it scared the living crap out of me, so uh, that happened. Next guy. 
There's a there's a uh, chips in South Africa called knickknacks. I think it's like a British brand or something, but yeah, that guy reminds me of that. I think we should just follow them. Let's just go with it. Because eventually it's going to turn into something and I don't want to miss it. Too many times I've walked, taken video, and then I turn my camera off and then something goes down and I'm like, man, that just sucks. So yeah, I'm just going to go with this, see where it takes us. I'm in the crowd now, slowly getting uh, accustomed. Let's see, maybe I can make a friend. Not yet. Because <laughs> she's laughing at me. How are you doing this, man? How are you doing? What is what is your name? Oh my God. Okay, now I'm totally in the crowd. I've been accustomed. I'm getting getting uh, rid of my shyness here. Okay, they stopped. Getting a little more shy. Let's see. This way. Awesome, bro. Yeah, dude, so that's how you get treated by the locals here in Thailand. Anne is cracking up, man. She's like, what is happening? South Africa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I come from South Africa. I, I make a little video for YouTube. You know YouTube? I give you. Tomorrow you look YouTube? Yeah. You, yeah, you can tell about it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm from South Africa. Yeah. You? Where, where are you from? Harlem. Okay, okay. Yeah, it doesn't get more local than this. Zen dance, like a walk and giving things to the right and then give some to the left. It's like, wash it off. You had a bad day? Eh, it's fine. Wash it off. Wash off to the left and wash off to the right. Here's my bros. Here's the bros again.
once again you see one of the the most coordinated events. You know, that's something that's just great about Thailand. You know, people really put a lot of care and thought into celebrating and, and showing Thanksgiving and yeah, just like super festive people, you know, and, and the way you get treated by the locals is just absolutely phenomenal. You don't even have to be able to speak their language, but yet you can you can still, uh, you know, get along and you can still be welcomed and it's just phenomenal, so. Awesome, man. From South Africa. Oh, South Africa. Yeah, and then I. Your accent doesn't. It's not. Yeah, you I must have lived away quite a lot. I do. I'm a dual American. Ah, so, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I moved to America ten years ago with right. work, and then I, um, I became a citizen. Yeah. But yeah you ten, live here now. I live in. I live here three months out of the year, and then South okay. Africa for three, and then America for six. Oh, ah. Yeah. So, you so it's have crazy. a good life. You think? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I was just thinking the other day, it's so, um, it can be so draining because it's stressful, you know, having right. to pay taxes and to keep your stuff kind of like always yeah, make yeah. sure you don't screw up. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, and what yeah. do you do? You do a vlog? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a vlog for a, a little YouTube channel we've got. I don't oh, know if you guys cool. do watch videos on traveling a lot. Where's that thing? She does. Yeah, you can scan that yeah, and yeah. show your folks. But yeah, uh, uh, but, and uh, yeah, so I was just telling him, Tan, I didn't even ask your name. So oh, Ken. 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 Ah, no, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, very little. Very yeah. Little. So Ken, yeah. I'm Eddie. Eddie, it's, lovely it's to meet you, Eddie. To meet you Sorry, again. the sweaty no, lines. I don't care, man. That's, that's fine. And nice this is to meet Anne. you. Yeah. So that's awesome, man. Do you have family out here? Or no, no. The guy I used to work with. Yeah. Back home in Ireland. Yeah. He moved over here. Yeah, yeah. And he lives in uh, Krabby Town now. Okay. But he lived in Ban Phuong. Yeah, he married a girl from Ban Phuong. Wow. And uh, so he's lived here yeah. for 10, 15 years. Wow, man. Yeah. It's so nice to to meet people that's like, because like, this is rural Thailand. You know, this yeah. Is pretty yeah, much well, when, when I, yeah, when I came to Thailand, I met Yati. Yeah. And she was from, she's from Ban Phuong. Okay. And uh, we travel around quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, and go to play Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai. Okay. So Beautiful. That's, that's your wife? No. Oh, but I know Yati for 20 oh, years. Oh, so you're very good friends. Yeah, 20 years. Oh, wow, so you yeah. travel together too? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, we've been all over. We went to Laos. We went to, I was here in September for one month. Yeah. Went to Cambodia. Yeah. Well, I was going to go to Vietnam, but yeah. got a mix up with the visa. Wow, you know, it's yeah. crazy, man. We're just doing a visa now. We had to, like, oh, man, it's. Yeah, the Besides visa, the money yeah. and the bureaucracy, you know, I know. we had to spend months, man, paperwork, yeah. translation, and then uh, coming out here, 
sometimes it, in the beginning it's like butterflies, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. reality sets in, and then well, you start getting you get used to it. Yeah. You yeah. just have to kind of relax and don't expect things in a hurry. You yeah. know, go with the flow. Yeah. It, 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 you have to, it, like, it's a different culture. Yes. So you oh. have to accept it's a different culture. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, I think the Thai culture is very good. I, I like yeah, it. Yeah, man, it's, it's like so it. refreshing. It just, it, yeah. it's completely different from the West and it's a different world. Yeah, and if you're nice to the people, they're very friendly. Yeah, yeah. Very friendly. Man, that's awesome, Ken. It was yeah. great to meet you, man. Thank One you. day when we go to Ireland, maybe we can go say hi to Ken. Yeah. I'll look you up on the tube. Yeah, yeah. 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 Shoot yeah. me a text. Um, I will. See. So, um, we'll I'll see. text you and say I'm the guy that met you at uh, our look yes. the festival. Yes, man. It was good to meet you, Ken. You have an I'm, awesome I day. I might be lost. I might. Oh, shoot. I hope I didn't mess up your... <laughs> you think they'll wait yes, for you? Look at how white I am. Yeah, you look great, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they'll find you, man. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like, oh, what a cool guy. Eat. Oh, you want to eat? Yes. Okay, we're going to do Anne's favorite thing. All right, there's so much. You know what, today I'm going to I'm gonna give full reins to you. You can choose. You choose what we eat. Because you know all the best food. You like to hear that? Yes. It means we're going to eat a lot. What's this white stuff? What is that? Oh, that looks yummy. Is that alloy? Alloy. <laughs> Man, what a nice chat with Ken. What a nice guy. He's from Ireland. But uh, I really hope that I got that because I see my GoPro is kind of angling down, but it's fine. We walk around again. And okay. Man, I'm sweating bullets. We can find a refreshing drink. That's nice. He yeah. said it's alloy. Right. Okay. Got it, got it. All right, man. Yeah. It's very sweet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Some more food. Oh, wow. Oh wow, look at that. That looks incredible. Just marinating in that sauce. <laughs> All right, she's going to town. Anne's taste buds is a little different than mine. She likes uh, desserts and crepes, sweet pancakes, and you know, pork type of uh, savory. I'm more into fresh, you know, papaya salads and uh, vegetables and I eat pork and stuff too because I, that's my source protein, I'm a meat eater, but uh, I haven't had red meat in probably a year. That's helped me a lot, digestive wise as well as, um, yeah, just overall, my, my gut health has improved a bunch. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, this one. Oh, cake? Yes. Uh, the nothing. <clears throat> Holy smokes. Mm. That looks good. I think I want to try that. You think that's good? Yeah. Chocolate or strawberry? Chocolate, uh, strawberry. Yeah. Alright, that looks good. So, I saw this cake, or like a 
dessert type of deal and it looked really good, so I, I gotta try it. Alright, these guys are having whiskey. Huh? Oh, really? You just say hello. Lobster, or, no, is it prawns, lobster, or shrimp? I think shrimp's the small one. Lobster is the big one. Prawn, prawns. Awesome. But I'm, yeah, I'm starting on the dessert. drinks here. One more. Okay. Chon Kirak. Chon. There we go. They're going to make me drunk again. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go check what these guys are doing. You'll see there's stages all over the place. There's a massive stage that I think will host a big show tonight, but they're doing another one right there. So I'm gonna walk over and check it out. That'll probably be the opening band, and then the headliner will be here tonight. We don't know, we shall see. It does look like they're getting ready to do a show tonight, because they're doing sound check. <laughs> look at this 
sounds, man. Nice, so that's gonna be sick. This was really interesting. Um, I might, might sound super dumb saying this, but it looked like they had all the sound already set up. They just hoisted up the, the roof and everything was already set up. So this might be their own trailer and they just keep everything as is and then strap it down. It looks like it's pretty well strapped down. And then it's like, a, yeah, ready to go stage. Which is a pretty good idea, unless everyone does that. I don't know if that's a thing in the music industry. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> How are you? Good. Are you you in the band? No, they were You you play tonight? Uh, okay. Oh, okay, good, okay. He's gonna play in the band. <laughs> nice, man. Alright. I'll see you later. I might have just fist bumped a Thailand rock star, and we'll find out tonight when they start their show. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. We'll check it out when they start getting ready. And there's another guy. No, that's a soundtrack. You can see all these structures were built. They weren't here like a week and a half ago. So the guys started uh, constructing it from bamboo, um, palm tree leaves, banana tree leaves, um, you know, wood that they kind of break down and then they would go store it somewhere and do it again next year. So this festival takes place once every year. So if you're ever in Thailand this time around, um, maybe next year, you can catch it. Let's go explore a little. See these little things? That's quail eggs on what seems like potatoes. Ooh. Oh yeah, quail egg. Wow. Okay. Really cool. I tried that in Phuket, and it was it, it's it tastes like egg, but it's smaller. So that's pretty much egg. All right. Let's see. Let's see what else we can find. Kebabs, bang the krabi kebab. Very good. Yeah. I'm always fascinated by this method. It's just pretty much a very hot element, and it cooks the outer layer, and you make sandwiches from it, or like kebabs, that ends the name, and. Uh, yeah, it, it's almost like the perfect timer because once you cut it off, the new layer starts cooking and then when the next customer shows up, you just kind of cut it off, you know, in accordance with your customer flow, I guess. It's an interesting method. That's very interesting. It's seems like that's probably to keep it super cold that actually looks delicious so awesome I don't quite know what this is I've never seen that yeah, it looks like there might be 
a chicken in there or like a baby chicken. Let me know if you've ever had that. I don't know what that is. If you walk this way. So Anne makes these and they're pretty awesome. Quail eggs again with a twist. Some more chicken, chicken feet. Have you ever had chicken feet? What do you what do you think of it? Do you like it? I actually quite like it if it's cooked right. You just put the whole thing in your mouth and you pick it out and you just got a big load of collagen. That looks amazing. So yeah, you can see how you can get real lost in all the variety. You always want to do at least one walk around to see whatever your eye catches and then make a mental note and then come back. Come back later and, and try it out. Because if you start buying everything you see, you're going to be, you're not going to feel that good. Let's give this a shot. Let's try it out. Hello. Hello, ma. Hello. <laughs> so, Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Try. So I never worry about the change in the way that So I never stress about the change because I know the ties wouldn't wouldn't really rip you off in local towns and stuff, especially when you're like not in a massive tourist area where they get thousands of tourists. So yeah, got this this drink here. Um, I think I should get a straw too. Let's see if I have a straw here. But yeah, I'm not nervous about the change like that because I know I I, I would ask Kibat how much and then they would reply and I'd be like, oh, I can't count yet. So I just give like a hundred baht and then whatever the change is, that's the change. Good. So can I get your straw? They did a good good job. Did they rip me off? He works with ice. Um, did they rip me off or did they give, give me a good deal? How much was it? Uh, 25 baht. 25 baht. 25 baht. Like 60 cents US for this drink. I mean, that's insane. Think about that. An entire cat bottle of Coke for 60 cents. It literally cost three dollars seventy nine at Seven Eleven in the U.S. Yeah. Oh, they not me. Are I? No, she didn't give me. No. But I was gonna just use yours. Thank you. Oh. Should I maybe put some of that in here? Yeah, I didn't drink this year. Okay, putting some whiskey in my coat. <laughs> now you're talking! Yes, yes, it's a good thing. Thank you. <laughs> Good? Chalan. Any chalan? So 
Because I see police that side. What? It's normal for Thai people drink mixed alcohol. Yeah. With yeah. Yes. Africa Thai. Two. เมสมิกซ์เป็นเรื่องปกติแต่ว่าเป็นเป็นก็พาไปกินได้ so these guys are drinking some real hard liquor. They're pouring it by the shot. And, uh, you know, obviously you'll get a good buzz. But the, the whiskey and brandy in Thailand is really smooth. It's not as strong. So... Yeah, real good stuff. That's why I just I went to grab a coke and you know since since they keep offering me um, shots, I'll just throw it in my coke. Oh, almost ready for that show to begin. What is this called? I don't know in English. Okay. So if you ever see this dessert, I don't know what it's called. She doesn't know what it's called. What's it called in Thai? Tako in Thai. Tako. 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 Yeah. Like a taco. But. Tako. Tako. And yeah, let's give it a try. So banana leaves to wrap it. Very biodegradable. <laughs> See that corn? It tastes like corn porridge with a hint of coconut. That's literally what it tastes like. In my childhood, we used to have millipop. Do you know what millipop is? Millipop is a lacquer dung. A magum from millipop. It became butter in soaker. So yeah, basically Ritz with, with the perfect amount of butter and sugar. The most delicious millipop you can imagine. It's what this tastes like. Except it actually has millis in it. So corn porridge is what it tastes like with a hint of coconut. Good. So let's hope we don't get rained out before the show starts. <laughs> and then uh, we can give it a try. That's a pomelo? Yeah, pomelo. Whoa, that's huge, man. Look at the size of this thing. 
I can try it too? Yeah, you can try it. Okay. This, 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 this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hum, hum. <laughs> All right. Hey, that's good. That's very fresh. Look at this beautiful piece of fruit. Pomelo. If you ever have problems with your digestive system, this will sort you out. This and some Thai papaya. Some jackfruit here. <laughs> Hello. How are you? What do you grab? And you? Are you good? Having a good day? <laughs> so yeah, jackfruit. Um, it's forty baht, so about a dollar, about a dollar for this whole. It is only like a serving, so to speak. And in the States, it'll cost you $25 for a whole jackfruit. That's a big price difference, right? From a dollar to a dollar, um, from a dollar, sorry, to $25. And I pretty much would just eat that size of a serving and throw the rest of it away. So I got some of the jackfruit here and I'm gonna give it a try. I don't know what to expect. I've never had this, so let's let's give it a shot. The, I have to smell it. Sorry, it's got a funny smell, like a. Yeah, don't smell it. It's not durian, but it's weird. It's different. Like someone. I don't know. Hard to explain, but let's try it. Tastes like banana, but not as sweet. But what a nice fruit. Um, banana and cantaloupe. That's what this tastes like. Yeah, if you put this in the fridge and it's cold, that would be a great snack with a beer, with an ice cold beer. Mm hmm. Can you see the seed in, in there? Go plant that. I'm gonna plant the seed in her garden. Oh well, forget that. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we eat it. At least yeah. don't have to eat. Yeah, I know. It's good. Yeah. Very good. Jackfruit. Wow. Mm -hmm. This thing is this is expensive in the US. Like seriously expensive. I almost bought one in Colorado. I'm happy I didn't. Because it really it doesn't blow my mind. But it's a nice it's a nice fruit. I like it. I like it. I had to ask my mama my buy some food. Look at this yummy food she's making. Whoa! 
Yummy, yummy. This guy is blowing fire. I saw it from a distance and I had to run over here.
Well, all right, guys, that brings us to the end of another video. Thank you for coming along. I enjoyed having you here with me. They're laughing at me back here because I'm about to ask you to please subscribe if you want to become a part of this community. Until the next one, I'll see you again. Ciao.